When a user is signing up to your front-end application, or if he invites a user to join it, for instance, well, there is a redirection that is triggered from the button in the email. And actually, you have to deal with the URL confirmation, this variable that we can find in the email template. We saw previously that we can inject this variable inside uh, the email templates of different cases. However, this URL has to be changed once you are in production. Because for now, what we've got, we've got this site URL here, which is my localhost 3000. And you understood that in production, localhost 3000 does not exist. You need a website. So configure the URL of your site. This is used for password reset email and other links. Well, this URL configuration side is very important for Superbase and especially for you when you are going to deliver your application for the clients in production. So what you need to do is when you deliver your application and you want to redirect immediately from the web, you have to change this website URL. So I give you an example. For instance, me, I will have a website one day very soon called codewithguillaume.com. And I'm going to use this instance of Superbase to trigger this um, redirection on password reset or on confirmation signup. I will have to change this website URL to change actually the variable inside the email template down here. All right, that is the first case of the URL configuration. Another case is the redirect URLs. Well, sometimes you need to redirect some URLs on post authentication, for instance, as we see down there. So basically, you can click here and add a domain to redirect on authentication services. So this concerns the redirect URLs pattern. However, for most of you here, you would need just to change the site URL to the production URL. 